Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I have decided to arrange series discussion on several geometric problems related to geometric theorems for Madhumik 2022. Students who are uh, going to sit for this exam will be benefited, I hope it. Uh, today, I shall discuss about these two geometric problems. Uh, these two problems are uh, this and this. First problem is two circles intersect each other at two points P and Q. If the diameters of these two circles are P A and P B respectively, uh, then prove that A Q B uh, will be collinear that is they lie in the same straight line. It is clear two circles intersect each other at two points P and Q. If the diameters of these two circles are P A and P B, uh, we have to prove that A Q B are collinear that is they lie in the same straight lines. Uh, here already we have drawn the diagram, there are two circles, these are two circles, uh, these two circles intersect at two points P and Q, intersect at two points P and Q. Uh, here this is the center of first circle, this is the center of second circle that is uh, this is regarded as O and this is regarded as O dot. O is the center of first circle, O dot is the uh, center of the second circle. And we have already connected P with Q, A with Q and B with Q. These are connected. Uh, so, here we have drawn uh, we have connected we have connected we have connected a, B and P with Q. A, B and P uh, with Q by line segments by line by three line segments that is uh, PQ, AQ and BQ. These are connected in this way. Uh, now, for the first circle, in respect of first circle, uh, AP is diameter of this circle and AQB is a angle situated at the perimeter of this circle and is standing upon this diameter that is this is semicircular. Uh, angle that is this is semicircular angle. Now, now uh, AQB AQB angle AQB is the semicircular angle semicircular angle which is situated at the perimeter of this circle that is first circle and is also it is also standing upon the diameter of this circle and this angle is called semicircular angle. Uh, by the theorem of circles uh, we have already known this theorem any semicircular angle is 90 degree. Semicircular angle in each circle is 90 degree. We have already proved it, and this theorem is proved. And by this theorem, we can write AQB is 90 degree. That is AQB equal to 90 degree. Uh, by the theorem, of semicircular angle. This is semicircular angle, semi circular angle. We can write 
we can say that angle AQB is 90 degree angle AQB is 90 degree we can say that angle AQB is 90 degree this is uh, well known to us this theorem is well known to us from this theorem we can write AQB equal to 90 degree this is because this is a semi circular angle that is uh, since AP is diameter AP is diameter AP is diameter of first circle diameter of first circle. Similarly, the angle PQB is also 90 degree because this is also a semicircular angle of the second circle. Now, similarly A B Q a Q B that is A Q B angle A Q B is 90 degree because A Q B uh, is the semi circular angle of the second circle that is uh, as a P B is diameter of the circle and this angle is standing upon this diameter and is also situated at the in the perimeter of the circle that is circumference of the circle in the circumference of the circle. Uh, any angle situated at the circumference of the angle the circle and, and is also standing upon the diameter standing upon it upon its diameter then this angle is called uh, semi circular angle that is PQB is 90 degree PQB is semi circular angle because PQB is situated uh, on the circumference of the second circle and also is also standing upon the upon its diameter. So, PQB is a semi circular angle and this angle is obviously 90 degree due to the theorem of semi circular angle. Already we have proved the theorem of for semi circular angle and this angle is also 90 degree because so AQB is 90 degree because PB is diameter because BP is diameter of second circle diameter of second circle this is BP is the diameter of second circle. So, uh, AQB is a semi circular angle and this semi circular angle is 90 degree due to the theorem of semi circular angle. Now, here you can look you can see that these two angles that is AQ PQA that is AQP and a BQP that is PQB uh, are to adjust an angle uh, which have common sides PQ and common vertex Q. So, these are two uh, adjacent angle these are two adjacent angle, but but AQB and AQB and uh, angle uh, similarly uh, PQB not AQB this is PQB similarly PQB equal to 90 degree BP is diameter of the second circle. So, PQB is 90 degree. So, angle AQB and PQB are two adjacent angle two adjacent adjacent angle which have angle which have common sides common side common side PQ and common vertex common vertex uh, Q 
and also these two angles are equal these two angles are equal that is uh, PQB equal to AQB equal to 90 degree because they are both 90 degree so they are equal to each other that is PQB and AQB equal to 90 degree these two adjustment angles are equal uh, these two angles have common uh, sides PQ and common vertex Q so we can say that other two sides are collinear that is they lie in the same straight line that is other two sides so by the theorem by the theorem on equality of two adjacent angles equality of two adjacent angles we can say that we can say that uh, PQB uh, that is other two sides other two sides AQ and QB other two sides AQ and QB uh, are collinear that is they lie in the same straight lines. We can say other two sides other two sides two sides uh, AQ and QB of these two angles of these two angles uh, lie in the same straight line same straight line same straight line so we can uh, conclude that AQB a q b three points a q b are collinear so therefore so a q b are collinear a q b are collinear so we can say that a q b are collinear uh, that is they lie in the same straight line this is uh, proved we have proved this in this way so uh, uh, two circles if two circles intersect each other at two points PQ having diameters uh, PA and PB then AQB are collinear this has been 